All right, so this is Silo 2023.1, and we've added a couple new features along with some uh, bug fixes and improvements. Uh, the two big things we've added are these two new modifiers here in the Object Modifier section. Um, you can get to them from the Modify Modifiers menu here. Um, and the two new ones are Array and Smooth, and I've got them both up here, but neither of them applied. So let's turn on the Array. And this is uh, based on the procedural array, which we used to have, but we've taken it out because this version is much better and easier to work with um, because you can toggle it on and off and edit the underlying shape and do all the things that modifiers allow you to do with it. Uh, so uh, pretty simple and straightforward. You can set uh, the number of elements you want in each direction here. Let's go back to five. Uh, you can set the spacing between them in each dimension. Um, and then you can do an overall scale once you've got your uh, relative dimensions set up however you want them to be. And these spacing elements will be in units if you have a unit selected rather than generic, which is what we're on. And then uh, it provides just a bunch of randomization options basically to make each uh, tree look more unique. So let's say we want some to be taller than others or uh, rotated different amounts in different ways. So that's all very handy for sort of quickly setting up uh, a field that looks different. Oh, and let's do some position randomness as well here. And the Y randomness. If you've, even if you've only got one dimension, it will still do Y randomness and it will be based on this spacing Y value. So the bigger this value is, the bigger um, this range will be. So you can see if I turn the spacing up here, it increases the randomized position quite a bit relatively. So uh, the last thing that we've, oh, and we've also uh, put in a random seed. So if you don't like how the random is looking, you can go to a different seed and that seed will always create the same random result. And then we've also added the ability to randomize blend shapes. And this palm tree, as you may know, have seen already, has uh, blend shapes applied to it. So it's basically going in and randomizing each of the sliders in the blend shape uh, per object. And so you're getting a bunch of even more varied and different trees, which is super handy if you want to create a large field of um, randomized elements like this. So that's it for the array, super handy, super useful. Um, the other one we've added is also very handy, which is smooth. Uh, eh, this is probably good enough to see the results of smooth. Um, this will just be, uh, works the same as the, again, we have a command for smooth, but the command we already had for smooth is destructive, right? So you apply smooth and the object gets a little smoother um, but it's stuck that way unless you undo. And then if you go and do anything else, then you've lost your undo and you can't go back. So anyway, this makes perfect sense as a modifier. Um, easy to toggle on and off and get whatever level of smoothing you want. Uh, so those are the big two big new features. We've also added the ability to um, reset materials to default. I guess I can show you that real quick. Uh, let's go to the material editor here. This is our poor palm tree. I, we can just go in and choose this and set reset to default, and that will reset it to the default material. Uh, very handy little thing that we didn't have available before. And uh, you can check out the post for the other small bug, bug fixes and random improvements that we've done. But that's it for this release, and uh, go and give it a shot at neversender.com slash silo. There's a free 30-day trial if you haven't uh, tried it before. And thanks for watching.